So I'll wake up to find my son's gone missing. <sighs> We've been out, aren't we? What, to see Vanessa? Just needed some air. I didn't sleep well. What do you think I did? It took me ages to settle him. Yeah, well, I'd have managed in the end. After what I saw last night? I, I was knackered, Carly. You know, he just wouldn't stop crying and... But he doesn't know me yet. I don't know him and, you know, I can't get my head around any of this yet. The only head that matters now is his. And you need to grow up, Kieran, because it's not all about you anymore. I know. You're right. I got it. So, will you give me my son? No, I want to make it right, please. Like, nothing happened, did it? And nothing will. And Vanessa's got enough on her plate without any of this. Thanks. All right, mate. I'm going to be watching you. Just stay easy and you let him go away on his own. He's not running away, Paddy. Well, it sounds like it to me. He needs to get his head together. Oh, because that worked out so well in the past. He could be anywhere. He could be doing anything to himself. No, not this time. I know where he is, who he's with. I trust him. And getting a bit of distance, well, it'll do in the world of good. Might give him a bit of perspective. Perspective? On what he's been through? No, as long as he is safe, as long as he knows that he's got us, then... then I think the best place for him is as far away from his dad as possible. Ah, oh, delivery. Early for a change. Look, I will call you if he calls I'll me. I'll call you if he calls me. Two favourite men. Right, we're just leaving. Nikhil! I know, I know I'm late. I'm on my way. How's Leila doing? Same as when I told you the first time. Right. Well, then tell me again. Oh, I'll catch you later. Subtle. No. Actually, I'm glad I've caught you. Right, well, whatever it is, I'm busy. Did you get my message? It's opening morning at the development, and... You're the best salesman I know. I saw the sign was up. <laughs> Me and Bob were talking and we were trying to work out how you make that funny-shaped building into flats. We dug underground, basement pools, garages, cinema rooms. Really? No, um, oh. but why don't you come take a look yourself? See how bad I am with potential buyers? I need you. Yeah, right. So look, we started this together, let's finish it. One last push, a signature on the dotted line. Once they're sold, you'll get your reward. I mean, Johnny, have plans. You owe it to him, Kieran. It's his inheritance. Well, that's all that matters to you, isn't it? Money. Stuff your open day. If you want your signatures, just fake them. Told you, I'd bring it up to your room and leave it outside. Why don't you put a cross on the door like they did with the plague victims? Like, I'm feeling loads better. I'm probably not even infectious anymore. Maybe, but you won't mind me not taking any chances, will you? <laughs> Are you, uh, you feeling better? <laughs> well, I was until she started spraying me with chemicals. Well, if you could just get that down you as quick as you can. It won't look very good if we get a surprise inspection from Britain's best B&B, will it? I'll tell you what. I'll take this upstairs. Great. I'll tell the other guests they can come in for the morning coffees. How's my little boy doing? Johnny's fine. But if you're feeling up to it, I'd, I'd get yourself home. Put a deposit down now and you can choose your finish. Kitchen, bathroom, anything you want. Right, well, uh, I'll think about it, thanks. Oh, just to let you know, um, the 10% discount on the granite, it's only available for the next seven days. Right, OK, well, I'll let you know. Thanks for showing me around. Um, they're going to be lovely. <laughs> I bet they are. Brenda. Uh, Bob's had to go to the cash and carry. I said I'd take some pictures for him. OK. Hiya. Oh, hi. You've been having a nice at the flats? Yeah, well, I saw him online. I thought it was worth the trip. Oh, why are you thinking of moving? Well, I won't be able to afford a house on my own, so... Oh, without Pierce. Mm. You okay? Not really. You don't fancy a coffee, do you? Yeah, yeah, of course. Come on. 
Jimmy's much better suited to motherhood than she is. In fact, anybody's much better suited to motherhood than she is. Hey, you know those glittery nail varnishes, new ones? They've disappeared. Don't be ridiculous, Kerry. Solid objects don't just disappear. Right, that's the last of your videos uploaded to the website. All clients have to do is click on a makeup issue. And they get a Kerry Tastic tutorial. Mum, can you do my eyebrows? Gabby, we've already talked about this. You're far too young. I plucked my eyebrows when I was your age. They took years to grow back. They're off. School's closed, norovirus. Right, I'll do your deal, Gabby. Washes these brushes. I'll do your contouring job and a flick the eye with liquid liner. I couldn't do me first, could you? I didn't have time this morning. Get a spoon and get yourself sat down. Right. You put them nail varnishes back, or I'm telling your mum. How strong are we going here? Oh, quite strong. Yeah? Yeah. Well, don't go too mad. It's dead easy to do it yourself, you know. Oh, it's... I can't. It's really hard to do it on myself. It's I, much easier if we do each other. I can do my own things. Yeah. yeah, discount for 12 cases. Yeah, I'll... Uh, oh, I'll get them sent over to you as soon as I can. Step away from the door, mate. Forget about the five-second rule. Nothing goes from floor to gob unless it's been sterilised. You're, oh, you're, you're supposed to be ill. And you're on paternity leave, which means you get paid not to work so you can stay with your son. So, are you well enough to come home? Well, I can keep down solids and I can stand up. So, once Carly told me how much he'd missed me... That's all she said. Why? What else is there to say? Nothing. <laughs> no, nothing, apart from... How awesome of a time we've had. We've had a great time, haven't we, mate? Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm really getting to know. Oh, I knew you would. There you go. Oh, thanks. You can tell your dad from me. If I won the lottery, I would move into one of those apartments tomorrow. Great. <laughs> you should see the finishes on offer. But I wouldn't waste my money on a wooden surface, not a kitchen. No, too easy to catch fire. <laughs> Oh, you look knackered. Right, you have earned an hour off. Then me and Johnny want Daddy Daycare back home where he belongs. Mm. I've done everything to try and make things work with Pierce. That's what the hotel was all about. Yeah. Thought maybe a set of expensive underwear, a posh hotel, would fix things. Never been so lonely as I was in bed with my husband that night. Tess, I'm so sorry. I just kept wishing he was someone else. There's someone else. I've been having an affair. It's over now, but I just miss him so much. See, the problem is, he's married as well. Hey, who's came to get me that water bottle? Only time you need it, innit, when you're ill? Oh, and here's me thinking you'd be cuddling up with Nicole. What? Well, I'm still exploding from both ends. Oh. It's all my fault. Should have put myself in quarantine quicker. Do you know, last night, I made it to the bathroom, but I couldn't reach the sink from the toilet. So I had to shout for him. He didn't? Yeah. He see me sat on the toilet with my knickers around my ankles and undigested food in my hair. Wait, it must be love. Oh, I'm mortified. You know, when I'd finished, you picked me up. You brought me downstairs and you put me on the sofa. And then when I woke up, he was just sat there, looking at me. Then this one is a keeper. Do you know when you feel so bad, you just want to die? Yep. Oh, I did yesterday. But I'm better now. Look, I'll, I'll make some soup. No, I've got to go. I don't want to infect Johnny. Um. well... Look, just use some of that antibacterial stuff. You need to get some it down, yeah? Before you go back to pooing in front of Nick Hill? Yes. Thank you for that. Oh, come on, you've got to laugh. I mean, he is the biggest neat freak on the planet. If he can cope with that, he can cope with anything. Yeah, if I were you, I'd put a ring on it before someone else does. Layla? Where is he? That would be Aaron. Yeah, well, this stuff's gone and he's not answering his phone. I don't remember letting you in the back room. 
Chaz, where is he? Not here. And he won't be for a while. For how long? As long as it takes. To do what? Whatever he wants. Look, you might have been a good mate to him in the past, and I'll always be grateful for that, but he owes you nothing. You know, I'm sorry, Chaz, but I just don't get it. I'm there for him. I help him through one of the toughest times in his life, and you just treat me like dirt. <laughs> that's because that's what you are. You can roll a turd in as much glitter as you want, but it'll always be the same underneath. You know, you're so wrong about me. I'm so not. You know nothing. You don't have a clue what he means to me. He's everything. There's something wrong. No, there isn't. I can tell. It's not that sickness bug. She's been throwing up by it. I shouldn't have left him with you. What have you done to him? Oh, nothing, Holly. Get a grip. Vanessa, I'm so sorry. It's my fault. No. Leila got it from me. Norovirus. That's what he meant, isn't it? You call Nick Hill. Uh, yeah, I will. Don't worry. See you later. Uh, hang on a minute. You thought that ambulance was for someone else. No, of course you didn't. You told me I should come home. Oh, I was just... I was worried about Johnny. I should have known something was wrong. So are you going to tell me? Or is she? It, it was something and nothing, OK? She's overreacting. He, he was out of control. He was upset and angry. He was screaming in Johnny's face. He was what? No, she walked into something she didn't understand. She thought that ambulance was for Johnny. She thought you'd hurt him. I, I thought he'd started crying and that you'd lost it. I never hurt him. I never... I, I, didn't... I didn't know what to do. I took Johnny off him. He was with me all night. You were that scared? She was that stupid. I only handed him back this morning. But Kieran told me it wouldn't happen again, and I believed him until now. Right, thanks, Carly. We'll take it from here. Trouble? It's nothing to do with you. I couldn't cope. I, all he ever does is look at me and cry. You know, I, I couldn't make it stop, Vanessa. I just... Inside, now. I wish I felt like this about my husband. I just... I love him so much it hurts. I can't, I can't sleep, I can't eat. You've got it bad, haven't you? I woke up at four o'clock this morning, hoping he'd texted me to tell me it was all a mistake and could we try again. But he didn't. He loves me. It's the guilt. He's hiding from his feelings. Well, you never know. He might be trying to do the right thing, stay with his family. But, well, if you buy this new flat, move in, show him that you can manage without him, we'll come back. If he's not happy in his marriage... He's not. He hasn't been for a long time, just like me. But I would sacrifice everything for him, but he can't promise me the same. Yeah, well, he's bound to be a bit tentative, isn't he? I mean, he's not going to want to hurt someone else. No. No, he never thinks about himself. That's the problem. And now him and his... Well, his wife, she... She wants a kid, so... He's never going to leave. Then you have to do something. If you really think he is the love of your life, you have to make a stand. You're going to have to fight for him. You need to show him what he's losing. No matter who gets hurt. Life is too short, and we have to do what makes us happy. Sometimes, Tess, things are just meant to be. Thanks, Rona. It's been really good to talk. <laughs> I've got to go. You sure you're going to be OK? Yeah. Yeah, I will be when I've taken your advice. Yeah, you're right. I can't let him go. And I'm not going to. You were wasting your time and your money. You can stand there until you drunk yourself senseless, but he won't be back. Oh, and tell me where he is. What part of over my dead body did you not get the first time? I'm serious about him, Chaz. So am I. Which is why I've let him go somewhere safe so we can get his head together. He's coming back. Up to him. Well, then I'll prove it to him. And to you. I'm going to be up at that yard every day, running his business for him until he gets back. Make sure that's all you do. And we do operate a 24-hour cancellation policy. No, I can assure you, 
There are no sex workers on the premises. No, this is not a brothel. What's a brothel, Mum? Uh, it's, it's, it's a kind of, um, soup. She said there was something very rude on our website. The woman's obviously deranged. I uploaded all the videos myself. Oh, my God. What they're doing, Mum? Never mind, just get this filth deleted. Eight, two coffees, one hot chocolate. Nice nails, kid. Good, aren't they? I was just saying to Mum, don't get much better than this, do they? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Vanessa told me what happened. Hey, if you needed a hot water bottle, all you had to do was ask. I don't want to say uh, I've got no pyjamas and they won't wash my hair. Good news is, I've found a bed for you. We'll keep you in overnight, make sure you're properly hydrated, and then with luck, you'll be home tomorrow. You're my fiance. He's so pretty. Um, is, she, is she all right? It's just that she, she doesn't seem to be making much sense. She will once we've got some fluids into her. We'll get you on the ward as soon as we can, Layla. Oh. We are engaged, aren't we? Um, not, not at the moment. But we have to be, cos we've got to have babies and make a football team. You want to get in? There's room for a little one. No, I'm, I'm all right, thank you. Vanessa said that you have to marry me. Well, I have to. Don't tell the back. They keep flapping round everywhere. We gave my hair. How are you if I've got a bat bite? OK. I think we're going to have a little talk later. Layla. Layla. Layla, I'm going to go and get some stuff for you tonight, OK? I'll see you later on. Talk to you. He's not going to marry me. He's seen me on the toilet. Here's me thinking Robert had a heart of storm. Too little, too late, though, eh? Yeah. Aaron's better off without him. That's all he needs. A lovesick Robert. Mm. Unrequited love. There's a lot of it about. Mm. Tess, she's going through it. We had a coffee earlier today. She's really struggling, Paddy. Really? Mm. She's thinking of buying one of the flats down the road. She has been having a passionate affair with a married man. Really? I know. My face nearly hit the floor when she told me as well. Anyway, he's, um, he's dumped her now. Too guilty, apparently. And his wife wants a baby. Oh, my God. I mean, you know, poor woman. So she's going to leave Pierce. <clears throat> she's going to live on her own for a bit. She's going to try and persuade this guy that she's serious about him and hope that he does the same. And, and she, she's... She's thinking of moving in... He, like, he, d d down the road? Mm -hmm. She's so in love, Paddy. I mean, I know it's, it's never easy, is it? Not when anybody else is involved, but... I said to her, you know, the heart wants what the heart wants, and she's got to go for it. I mean, if she loves this guy as much as she says she does, then... I think she deserves a happy ending. Same again. As if I'd touch him. As if I'd hurt him. You might have done. She hadn't stopped you. No, she she just walked in. She jumped to conclusions. Johnny was crying, wasn't he? Yeah, that's all he ever does. I'd left you on your own. And he just cried and cried. You tried everything. Changing him, feeding him, playing with him. But he was crying for me, wasn't he? And you couldn't stand it any longer. I just couldn't make it stop. I just kept screaming. I couldn't hear myself think. You had the chance to tell me yesterday. I could have helped you. 
Yeah, but I wanted to prove that I could do it. You know, be a good dad. Make him laugh when he saw me and calm him down. But he just looks at me as if I'm a stranger. I know what it's like, Kieran. Well, well, I, well, then you, well, then you're lying to me if you tell me you never felt the same way. That you'd have done anything to make it stop. No, I'm not. Yes, I have been pushed to breaking point, but I could never, ever touch him in anger because I'm his mum. And you should feel the same because you're his dad. Yeah, and I get it. Right, I failed, I messed up, but... Just... I'd never touch him, OK? I didn't, and you... I, I'd never do that. You have to go. You can't stay no, here now. No, no, no. You know I never hurt him. No. I don't think that I do. Simon's future hangs in the balance as Leanne's forced to make the toughest decision of her life. Coronation Street's on the way next, and then an archaeological dig turns up a lot more than expected in new Midsummer Murders here on ITV at 8 o'clock.